Well, we're all noticing it when we had to fill up our car with gas. Prices have been going down. In fact, they've been going down now for more than a month. If we take a look at some of the averages around our area right now, check out Luzerne County at 439 a gallon. Remember, that was above five bucks earlier this summer. Lackawanna 437. The northern tier a bit higher. 451 across there in Susquehanna, Bradford County, out in Lake Cumming County, 440 a gallon, Columbia or Northumberland, you're at 446. So what's the statewide average? Well, it has fallen significantly. If we take a look at that, you can see it's 443 a gallon. That is down a bit since last week. It's down more than 40 cents since a month ago. It's down more than 50 cents since the peak that we saw back in June. But we are still well above where we were a year ago when Pennsylvania's average, according to AAA, was $3.27 a gallon. And you can see that on the graph that tracks the prices here in northeastern Pennsylvania. You can see that we went up to that peak back in June of over $5 a gallon, and we've been falling since then. The question is now, how far will we fall? Experts think that will continue, but that there's not going to be a dramatic drop in the gas prices. And when we look across the country, if we zoom in, we can see Pennsylvania is here with the higher prices in the $4 range. But when you head down to the south, look at Tennessee, $3.55 a gallon. Look at places in Texas, $3.49. Down in Florida, $3.73. So the Midwest is definitely in south, definitely cheaper than we are in Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania has among the highest gas taxes in the country. But again, we can just be glad we're not in California where it's up near $6 a gallon still in some areas. We'll keep tracking the gas prices for you. They are coming down. We'll see how long that continues. In the digital studio, John Meyer, Newswatch 16.